Hello everybody, today's February the 4th and we are getting right on through winter. Uh, usually in the past years we have started our seeds on February the 15th uh, and that's what we plan to do this year. Now in previous years if you've followed along on our channel at all you know that we've done a large amount because we have done uh, had a produce farm and we sold plants at the market also we, we raised the, the plants for our own use out on our farm to sell the vegetables at the market. So I'm way downsized and sometimes it's a little bit hard to go from great big huge, which we weren't really great big huge, but huge for me, down to little bitty garden size for a home or feeding two families maybe. <laughs> so uh, we're working on trying to decide what we want to grow, where we want to grow it, and as I was studying along I, I realized that this is something I think would be good to share with you is that not all seeds grow th at the same temperature. There is a very wide range at which spinach likes to germinate the seeds and peppers like to germinate. And then there are a whole bunch of other vegetables in between. So what I'm going to do in this video is go with you uh, through all the different kinds of vegetables and show you what the temperature is that they like to germinate. I know everybody who raises a garden hopes that they can raise their own bedding plants. Some people see that it's going to be hard and they'll just go buy them, but if you have in your heart to raise your own plants, now a lot then of the information you that I'm going to share with you comes out of Johnny's seed catalog. Maybe take some catalog. notes on here. If you don't have a Johnny's share seed with you catalog, today, you need to get one because it's not just about uh, buying seeds from them. They have a world of garden information in there. From what I'm going to talk about today, the temperature that the seeds like to germinate in and how many days it takes to for them to produce, the conditions they like to produce in, and all sorts of things. And so let's get started and what I'm going to do is just work my way through the catalog and tell you what the different vegetables are that we're going to grow. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of them, but I've written down a lot of them that we are going to grow and I made notes on the temperature at which the uh, seeds like to germinate. And so first of all is beans. I'm just going to go in alphabetical order. Uh, green beans, I think any kind of beans, um, they like to be warm. And if you go out in the spring and think by May the 15th, in my area anyway, that you're going to work up the ground and plant beans and on rare occasion will the ground be warm enough by then. They like to be 86 degrees to germinate. Now they can germinate at a lower temperature. All of this stuff can germinate at a lower temperature or a higher temperature, but what I'm going to share with you is the optimum temperature where you're going to get the most germination rate, the best germination rate, and you're going to have the most success because if you're going to do this, spend all this money, do all this work, you want to have the best su success that you can. So on green beans, it's 86 de uh, degrees. Now beets, surprisingly, beets are an earlier crop, but their premium germination rate is 86 degrees too. Now you're going to get, you, they will germinate at a lower temperature, but you won't get as many seeds to germinate and they just won't germinate as well. But 86 degrees on beets too. Okay, old guy just came in here. He's listening to me in the other room and he tells me that I need to tell you that this is ground temperature that I'm talking about. The soil temperature, not the air temperature. So, you got that? So anyway, beets are the same. Broccoli surprisingly is the same because broccoli to me seems like it would be one that would want cooler weather to germinate in. Cabbage is even more warm because it's 88 degrees. The soil for your cabbage seeds needs to be 88 degrees. That's really warm. 
And then carrots, now they like cooler, so they're only 77 degrees. If you put them in 88 degree uh, temperature soil, they're probably not even going to germinate. Uh, cauliflower is like broccoli and cabbage, it's 86. Now celery is the coolest one actually that I found and it's 69 degrees. Corn, uh, it likes it warm but we're not growing corn so actually I didn't even write the temperature down but I know that it likes the soil pretty warm. Cucumbers like it 86 degrees, but I'll tell you what, with cucumbers, if you raise cucumbers in a hot place, they're not going to do very well. Cucumbers just like it in this really picky little place of not too hot, not too cold, just right, or else they're not going to do any good for you. Eggplant likes it really hot, and eggplant is like peppers, which I'll get to later. These, they're all... Um, nightshade plants and they like to germinate really warm 90 degrees on eggplant then kale is like the broccoli and cauliflower it likes 88 degrees lettuce is actually the coolest because I've just come to it and it's 65 degrees so you if you go out in the middle of the summer and think you're gonna grow some uh, lettuce in your hot ground it's not even going to come up, let alone grow very well. Lettuce likes it cool, so only have your temperature of your soil at 65 degrees for lettuce when you want to germinate it. Now cantaloupes and watermelons, they all like it 90 degrees. Okra is kind of an oddball. It likes it at 83 degrees, and that's pretty warm soil. Now I like to start my okra in trays and then set out plants. So whenever I start my okra, it's usually uh, pretty early so I can have it ready to go in the ground. It doesn't like the cold either, but I like to start it pretty warm and sometimes probably I've started it at warmer than 83 degrees. Peas are kind of in the middle. They like it at 80 degrees. Now peppers, this says only 86, but I know I've seen other places where it likes it more like closer to 90, like the eggplant. So I would go with all nightshade plants like eggplant and peppers and, and even tomatoes. I'd go with them between 85 and 90, and I wouldn't mind pushing it to 90. Butternut's the same as that, 86 degrees is for butternut. Now, radishes kind of surprised me because I thought they would really like cool soil, but they wanted 83 degrees. So there you go, and spinach wants it 70 degrees. Now, one year we thought we were gonna make some, uh, plant some lettuce in one of our high tunnels for the winter. So we went out there in the first of September while it's still pretty warm and we planted it and hardly any of it came up and we figured out the reason it didn't come up is because it was too hot out there. It wants only 70 degree ground temperature so you have to wait in the fall until the days cool off, the nights cool off and your ground temperature can cool off. Zucchini is another one that likes it at 86 degrees. Swiss chard likes it at 86. And tomatillos are like tomatoes, they like it at 86. And then uh, the like turnips, they like to grow in the cool. They do the best in the cool, but they need to come up at about 86 degrees too. And so that's why in the fall, on August the 1st, is our day to plant turnips and radishes and things like that because surprisingly they like to come up in warm ground but then they like to grow in cooler weather and if they grow in hot weather they're going to get hot the the and they're going to bolt faster and they're going to get kind of what i call pithy inside where they're you know it's a bunch of holes inside it's not a solid um, ball of radish or turnip. So I think that this would be good information for you if you can do your own research if I didn't give it to you good enough or become aware of how to know what temperature your seeds need to, to germinate. Now um, 
finding the way to heat and regulate the heat is a different kind of deal. We do own some heat mats that are made for starting seeds, but I realize that not everybody can do that. So you might have to get a little bit creative, you know, test the top of your refrigerator, test different areas in your house and see where the temperature is ranging at. You could try to use a heat pad. Um, my friend Tammy suggested that she was going to try to use an electric blanket. My concern with things like that is these days they don't make them so that they can stay on all the time. They kick themselves off after a while. So you're going to have to do some research on what method you can use to keep your temperature warm and steady. And then, as soon as your seed pops up, it needs sunlight. I mean, like that fast. The, the second it pops up, it wants sun shining on it or some, some form of strong light. Like, we're going to be using some fluorescent bulbs. You don't have to use the grow lights. You can just use cheap fluorescent bulbs. And you put them right down almost touching the plants. And as the plant grows, of course, you have to lift it up because you don't want the plant to grow up inside the light. But uh, you just need it right above there. OK, well, I hope we have happy gardening this year. I hope we have good uh, weather. Weather always is the ticket, plus a lot of hard work. So happy gardening. Bye for now. Just to be with you.